Hi folks, it's Michelle here from Tattooed Sister. I have got a hairy topic for you today. Did you know that it's quite a tricky job to airbrush tattoo a hairy person? Now, I don't like to discriminate against anybody, but putting an adhesive um, airbrush tattoo onto a hairy person can be quite a tricky thing to do. Um, the reason for that is say I had a hairy arm and I've tried to I've tried to put the stencil on top, your little hairs are going to keep trying to push that stencil up, which means when you airbrush, you're not going to get that really nice crisp outline of your stencil to look nice. You're going to get a bit of a funny fin fuzzy finish, which doesn't look as nice. Um, so it is a bit of work to try and get that to happen. Um, the other thing is I would try and look for an alternative place on your client. So inside the forearm is usually the least hairiest place for most people. Um, sometimes the, the back of the hands, um, you will have to be a little bit discreet in how you handle your hairy client. Um, the other reason I probably wouldn't try and airbrush onto a hairy area is it actually ruins your stencil as well. So once you've airbrushed and um, you've taken the stencil off, and I don't mean like in a waxing kind of a way, because you, you take it off as gently as you can, but you are going to remove hair, which is uncomfortable for the client, and no one is gonna wanna reuse an airbrush tattoo stencil that's got someone's hair on it. It's like when you find the soap with one hair on it, it's just like, Ew. So if you do airbrush a hairy person, you are gonna end up throwing that stencil away. So try and think outside the box, try and find an alternative place to place their airbrush tattoo. And um, that way you can reuse the stencil instead of throwing it out. And there's the hairy tail for today. Stay tuned for more hot tips and fun facts. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.